Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a CDC Adams. The hook I have in the vise, I chose a number 16. This is a curved shank hook. This is 3 extra long. But uh, you can use a standard hook. I'm going to use black thread. This is Hemingway 8 Ot. And we're going to put a base of thread down on the hook. We're not going to stop for the wing yet. We're going to wait till we get the uh, body on. Then we'll put the wing on. We're going to bring that back slightly down. Slightly around the bend. Stop just about halfway between the, the barb and the point. Now for the tail I'm going to use this is a ginger CDC and a gray CDC and you can see that I cut the tips out of them because I'm going to put these in my dubbing block and when you put CDC in the dubbing block it's a good idea to cut the tips out because those uh, barbels that are on the tips, they're just not long enough. So uh, you cut them off and it saves you in later on. But I'm going to take those two hackle tips and I'm going to use them as the tail. Here we have them here. going to be you know it's not a stiff tail it's going to be a little bushy little tail there but it will represent it will give a bit of a representation of possibly a shuck go ahead and tie those in and bring my thread back to the tail you can go ahead and use regular hackle hackle uh, barbels for the tail if you want you would use a grizzly and a ginger now I'm gonna turn my vise upside down so when I dub I could get right up there I'm going to use Adams gray dubbing and this is super fine beaver was the original dubbing for the Adams that undercoat, beaver undercoat, nice gray color. Floats all day. But I'm going to use this super fine. And I'm probably going to need more than one dubbing noodle. You don't want to make a 12 inch dubbing noodle because you'll be swinging your arm. Okay, we come up to there. Actually, I'm just going to put a speck more on there. Get me maybe two more wraps out of it. There we go. And this is where we're going to put the tail, or the wing. I'm going to pull it just a little bit forward, maybe... You know two mils forward now for the wing I have a gray poly yarn again you can use a white poly yarn and take your black marker and put bars on it I'm just going to use this gray poly yarn I'm going to it does I'm measuring it you want it about the length of the hook shank if you're on a standard hook but I'm gonna actually make it a little longer because it's poly yarn and I could trim it to whatever length I want I'm gonna tie this in here now I'm just going to bring them to the side and then I can give it the figure eight a couple wraps that way a couple wraps that way then I can bring everything to the top 
just pinch it right there and that'll bring it right up I'm gonna go ahead and trim these take my comb there a little bit there we go this is gonna be a kind of kind of a large fly here so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that wing back that looks pretty good now I'm gonna bring that thread behind the wing don't worry if you catch a piece of the poly yarn and get one or two because the CDC is really scraggly so you're really not even gonna notice I'm gonna take my dubbing loop twister and I'm going to make a loop right in back of the wing go around your thread go around your thread once that should close that top up pretty good and I'm gonna bring my thread up front and we want to stop that thread about halfway between the wing and the eye I'm going to take my 100% beeswax and I'm going to wax my thread I like this beeswax especially in these chapsticks especially because they're really tacky especially with the CDC you can see how tacky they are there and even if it doesn't get to have all of that tack on there see like I just kinda took it all off but actually rubbing it into the thread itself now I'm going to take my ginger CDC and my gray CDC and I'm gonna put them butt to tip and butt to tip and I want to keep those uh, stems lined up I'm gonna place them on my dubbing block I'm going to right on the crack I'm gonna take my bodkin needle and I'm going to push them down both down at the same time and here we have the mixture of gray and ginger now we take our chip clip dollar store six for a dollar everything is a dollar that's the name of the store I'm going to pull those out now I'm going to trim the stems off now I have the stems trimmed I'm going to take my chip clip and I'm going to put it inside the loop I have it on the clip itself I'm gonna slide it off and when it slides off then squeeze the, the uh, clip off now I'm going to hold my thread right there at the bottom and then I'm gonna spin my dubbing twister my dubbing whirl and then when I let go it's going to twist right into shape for me and then you can go ahead and give it another twist by itself if you want now I'm going to stroke all of the CDC to the back I'm going to go ahead and put a wrap or two in back of the wing hold the wing back get that hackle or that CDC hackle right against the wing and take it forward and don't worry if it looks all matted down and stuff like that right now because you can use your dubbing teaser to get them to free them and I'm going a little further but that's okay too so one more wrap here I'm gonna tie that off
remove our dubbing loop just basically going to stroke everything towards the rear and I'm going to tie the head I got a couple little CDC fibers heading going out front not a big deal and then bring that head back about one eye length the head of your flies should be the same size as the eye take our whip finishing tool we'll trim this off put a little bit of head cement on there clean off my brush really well Now I'm going to take a dubbing teaser. I'm actually going to use the Velcro. And I'm going to pull the trapped CDC fibers out. You can see how they're, they're coming out of there really well. You might lose a couple, but you know, not a big deal. I'm going to hold that tail, or the wing back get that in there now you can just kind of push them back to where they want you can divide your your wing if you want you can leave it st stuck together cut off break off some of them really long ones and here we have a CDC Adams Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. If you'd like to purchase any flies for me, please go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.